Hey, this is Philip Vandervoss of Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and I am here at Overland Expo Mountain West, and I just found something special. This is an Idios Grand Deer, and we are about to meet Greg Clark and learn all about it. Good morning here at Overland Expo Mountain West. My name is Greg Clark. I'm the Executive Vice President for Eos Automotive for the Americas. Um, I'm standing here today really excited actually. It is our very first public outing for the Ineos Grenadier. Up until this point we have taken this, the only prototype that we have in the US at the moment, uh, around the country, uh, around the continent in fact. We've been to Canada as well, showing our reservation holders the circa 6,000 folks that have placed a reservation with us for the Grenadier, giving them the first opportunity to see this. The Grenadier. So, the Grenadier, in short, body on frame, solid beam axles, it's BMW power to make sure that we have the refinement, torque, and the emissions capability to make it 50 state legal. It focuses firstly on off road capability. So, first and foremost, that is our focus to make it off road capable, to provide more choice in a segment that's actually getting a little bit slimmer in terms of choice for a super rugged, capable off road vehicle that you can also use on a day to day basis. So, you know, based on its proportions, a lot of folks come away from this saying, actually, it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. It's reminiscent of an old generation G-Wagon, perhaps, but you can definitely see echoes of Land Cruiser, Defender, Willys Jeep, even, we've heard uh, from our event skies. Um, what else can I tell you about the vehicle? It's designed to be pragmatic, fully serviceable, so serviceability and the ability to actually work on it yourself has been one of the primary mantras. Um, as you get into the interior, you'll see that in a little while you'll see that actually there's a bit of analog nostalgia in there you can actually get to switch gear you can operate it with gloves on functions are not buried three levels deep in an infotainment or a touch screen um, it's designed to be actually used and used quickly you'll see an aviation kind of theme from the interior and a lot of that is unapologetic because in aviation you need to make decisions quickly you need to make adjustments quickly to uh, to the equipment and, and that's really kind of the some of, uh, some of the, uh, the motivations for the design of the interior Otherwise, um, what can I tell you about timing? We'll be bringing this to the US probably late third quarter of next year, 2023. We'll be announcing pricing and opening up the order banks in quarter one of next year. For those 6,000 reservation holders, plus anybody else who sees this in the interim and gets excited and kind of uh, gets and, uh, and gravitates towards this very distinctive, very new, but super capable vehicle. All right, so there you go. What do you think? Is this going to be your next offer? Let us know in the comments. We want to thank you as always for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. we got much more to come. So as always, we will see you down the road.